How can I stop the chatter in my mind? It is so unproductive, yet it feels compulsive. Well, one thing is, is you wanna make sure that you're not um, making it a priority to listen to the chatter. A lot of people will find that they're down on themselves all the time. They just can't stop being someone who, who berates themselves. If you really stop and listen in the beginning, when I say to connect, for some people that's very challenging because in the beginning, unless you have a voice that's peaceful or kind or loving, there are lots of meditations online. There are people who are, who are speaking in ways that are more aligned to the divine that you can actually just you know Google peaceful meditation, things like that. And, but let yourself begin to know that, that that distracting voice that makes you feel so um, like the chatter in your mind is so compulsive and unproductive, it can be addictive and it can cause addiction because you wanna quiet it so much that you do all kinds of things, anything to quiet that mind. When all you really have to do is watch it. There's a most important thing to know here. Only love is real and nothing real can be threatened. And herein lies a piece of the divine. That's the beginning first quote of A Course in Miracles, the very first introduction of A Course in Miracles. Since only love is real, if you just love the fact that you have a chattering mind, which means that you have an active intellect, which means that you're human, which means you're still alive on planet earth. You're doing that running commentary thing about everything, tries to keep you safe and secure, and it tries to micromanage everything. Just appreciate it at first, love it at first. Love it like a little puppy that's running around, peeing in corners and ripping up papers in your room and, and doesn't know how to be disciplined. Just doesn't have any idea what that is. And it's just doing what it does. Just let yourself sit and breathe and slow down that chattering mind because when you slow your breath, you slow that mind. And you'll start to see as you slow your breath, big, nice, big, deep, deliberate breaths, the chatter will slow down and you'll begin to see, oh, that's a thought. Oh, that's another thought. It's not just one big combobulation. It's one thought after another, after another. And when you start to slow it down, you'll see space between the thoughts. And you'll start to say to yourself, hey, I don't know if that thought's valuable to think right now. Can't really be 20,000 miles away thinking about that disaster that I'm not in the middle of because I'm here. And you'll start to notice what thoughts are valuable and worth thinking. And then you'll also notice that you don't have to think any thoughts at all. That the observer who's watching, you can actually observe the observer and you start to become one with the most significant and important part of you, the part of you that is the voice of sanity and the voice of your own best interest. And often it knows you're perfect and it knows you're fine and it knows everything will be just fine. So it's quiet and still because it doesn't have a running commentary about damage control. It knows just relax and get in sync with me, be still and know that I am, that you run the show. I am means whatever you finish that sentence with, that's what is. I am peaceful, I am calm, I am centered, I'm wise, I'm okay, I'm happy, I'm fun, I'm delightful. I am capable of showing up to anything. Start aligning with that voice and that's what it says, instead of all the other voices that have to come in to micromanage when you're feeling disconnected from that one. And you'll see, just be kind to yourself. That's the most important thing. People forget to be kind to themselves. And then being calm and being peaceful is just another performance. Don't perform for anybody. Just relax and breathe and let yourself know how important you are and that it's critical that you get on board with loving yourself as the number one priority in your life. Just be, just love yourself for being. You're here to bring the light to the world. 
you forgot that and it feels crazy and it feels all kinds of disorienting. Just let yourself relax. The voice of your own best interest will tell you exactly what you're doing here and how to do it the most expediently and wonderfully and joyfully and the most fun path. So just let those voices go and focus where all the, all the action is. <laughs> all the inaction in your physical body, but the action and the, the, the truth of who you are is in that voice that, and that person who's just observing you, that's in you, loving you always.